If you're anything like me, you have a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions inside of your head, inside of your body, and you haven't really had the opportunity to just get it out, right? And so I remember, you know, as a teacher and a business owner, I was on the go, on the go, 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 go. And, you know, I was stressed, I was tired, I was exhausted. There's so many things, I was freaking out, I was tripping, I was having anxiety, I was having depression. There's so much because I wasn't really processing, you know, life. And one of my favorite ways to do that is through journaling. But when you're super busy, sometimes you just don't have the time to sit and journal. And let's talk about this. If you are like that, keep watching this video. All right, so I remember getting an email from someone saying, how do you journal when you're super busy? And I'm just like, well, you know, take time. Carve 10 minutes out of your time to do that. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. But she literally just said she was busy. So what are some other ways? And so I also let her know micro journaling. And so one of the really cool things about micro journaling is that you do not have to write a whole page. You don't have to sit and be like, da -da 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 -da, like just the intimidation is not there. Micro journaling is just reflecting, taking snippets of a huge picture or whatever moment that you are experiencing. Um, and another way I did tell her was, you know, to do a phone recorder. So, or, you know, you have your phone and record from that, right? Um, so if you have some thoughts, just put it in there and keep moving. And then when you do have time, go back and reflect and maybe put it on paper, right? But micro journaling, hands down, has been one of my favorites. And I have been implementing this for the past month, okay? Um, so I have this little tiny journal. And it all started with Bible stuff. It started with me sitting, reading chapters, and words would just pop out of my head. And I'm just like, I need to remember that. And so I was like, how do I do that? How do I keep track? And I remember I had this little tiny journal. And I was like, let's write this down. Let's put this in a journal. And so um, I started writing words and phrases that stood out to me but i also started with those words and phrases i began to write what i thought it meant and then also what it meant for me personally and so i would do that so i would title it whatever the word or phrase was and then i would talk so this one was called make room in order for you to receive greater there needs to be shifts and removal of things that do not serve you for where you are going we need to expand our capacity so that we can serve God's purpose. And so this particular journal is specifically for my Bible study. So words and phrases that pop out from that moment, right? Of course, you have maybe your journal and you're writing a whole bunch of stuff. But this is, you know, more convenient. You can take this on the road. And it says messages from God. And so, like, you have a whole book, a reflection of Bible study. But this is really specific to messages from God. And I find that to be profound, right? Um, and when you do micro journaling, it's not, you know, a whole page. It's just like two to three sentences, five at the max. Like do not do more than that, okay? Then that's not micro journaling. That's short answer response. And we're not about that. We're doing micro journaling, taking snippets. It's like a photo that one photo of that one particular moment, right? You have that snippet and then you go back and then you remember those memories, you remember those feelings based off of what you wrote, right? It's kind of like a little summary, I guess, if you will. Um, so micro journaling has been really helpful for me and you can take this wherever you want to go. It could be on your phone. A lot of people do micro journaling, you know, um, as captions, right? So maybe they take a photo of something that's beautiful in this, the world or whatever, and then their caption, you know, whatever it meant to them. And so maybe their captions are huge. That, that could be a form of micro journaling, but my micro journaling that I'm talking about is just like one to two, maybe three sentences right? Um, just to capture that specific moment. 
Um, another one of my favorites is, you know, about people you connect with. So um, if we're out in the community, if we're, you know, talking with people, maybe it's at work, maybe it's at the mall, but anything that, you know, those people that you connect with, they may have like a profound word or insight for you or just the interaction that, you know, you had, right? It leaves a mark on you. And you're like, I need to remember this. I need to remember what they said or how they made me feel. Um, and so maybe in that micro journal entry, you're like, what was that mark? Like, what was that mark that they left on you? Or how did they engage with you? Were they compassionate? Were they, you know, did they help you pick up a bag, right? Did it make you feel, how did it make you feel? Why do you think that interaction was needed for you at that moment? And so, you know, those are some questions that you can answer for that specific topic. So maybe your journal is like people that made a mark in my life. And, you know, that it's, first of all, you can actually kind of turn these into a book. Like I have this book called She Inspires and basically it's like an eight by eight book and it has these little quotes and on they're on pretty pages. And it's just a tabletop book. So maybe you collect all these things and publish it and sell it. And, you know, these are your thoughts and you're sharing it with the world and helping people, right? Another thing that um, I would use a micro journal for is scriptures. And so as I grow in my spiritual journey and I'm reading these scriptures and trying to, you know, engrave it on my heart and my mind let it be part of my lifestyle you know when you write scriptures you can put it in your own words so that it is has a little more connection with you that you build that you know that bridge to connect these words to who you are and what you want to do for the kingdom right um so that is another way um, one more I'll share and then there's more on the website on the blog and so you can go check that out um, another one is little life lessons and so I you know I'm a people watcher I love watching people and I love seeing how people engage with people their surroundings you know how they move how they stand their posture all of that and so like I really want to you know kind of get insight from that so one of the things that I have been working on is, you know, my public speaking and, you know, having real life experiences to talk about and relate that to a lesson for life. Maybe it is like a biblical story or, you know, empowering people or whatever. So being mindful of these moments and little life lessons that I can pull from and share with the world has been something that I've been focused on just recently and so i feel like that would be a great way as well but anyway so i am all about micro journaling i talk a little bit more on the website on the blog so head on over there but i also wanted to let you guys know that i am pushing my new passion project and so i began working on this in i believe in october and so i was like how do i mix my journaling my creativity my healing and helping people like how do i do that and so i came up with this idea called the creative wellness project and i was like i want to coach people i want to help them figure out life through creative ways right so mixing faith art and journaling to process it could be for healing it could be for understanding it could be for planning um all of that and so the creative wellness project is here and we're doing workshops we are doing it virtually and in person small groups large groups one-on-one -on -one sessions i literally just had a one-on-one -on -one session this past weekend and it was phenomenal and it was it was mind-blowing and i'm just super excited to push this um and so i'm gonna leave a link in the, the the description where you can go check it out on the website you can follow on instagram and then also join the mailing list because what i'm going to be doing is sending out you know journal prompts or art prompts and then you know little articles things to help you you know process life through creativity and journaling right and it is all faith-based um so that is one thing that 
I wanted to let people know that it is faith-based and so but everybody is welcome and you can you know so I'm an English teacher and you know sometimes we teach Bible stories and it's not so much as for the spiritual you know beliefs but more for like literary right and so you know like you can take what I have and make it work for you so if you're not like a Christian um, but you're like, I really want to, you know, focus on certain things. Like you can pull themes out of the scripture and apply it for you. So like I can read a quote and it's not biblical, but I, I can still apply it to me and my life and how I can make it work. Um, and so if you are into art and journaling and, you know, you want to dive deep into, you know, life, just make sure you're following. Come on, join the group. It's called the Creative Wellness Project. Um, but yes, let me know how you would use a micro journal. And do you feel like this would be helpful for you? Let me know. Um, and then also, if you have any other ways to use a micro journal, like those themes, you know, put that in the comments below as well, all right? If you like the video, make sure you subscribe, comment, and share. Let's be a community. Peace.